All right, you guys. Hello, hello, hello. All right, it is March 12th. I'm going to get the date right. Um, welcome to our Team Talk Tuesday. I'm so excited. We have a very special guest tonight. But before we get her started, I want to start off really quick. We only have a few people live on that right now, but I want to start off with what we do every week is our Team Highs. So who has a Team High that they want to share, Juice Plus or non-Juice Plus related? Okay, I'll go first. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> um, so I had a huge meeting today with um, somebody that runs one of the county school departments about getting towers in their school, um, which was an offshoot of the post that I put up um, the other week after the other towers that I got in. So, um, and I actually had a call yesterday as well with a design firm that's interested in incorporating vertical towers into everything that they do. So big things going on with that. Yeah. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. So that was my win. All right. I want to hear awesome. somebody else. Melanie, did you have one? I didn't want to cut you off. Hey, I don't really have any new wins, but I um, follow up from last week. I gave my two week notice, but I actually, um, left that job this Monday. So I've been just plugging into trainings and been um, messaging and trying to put an event on the calendar for sometime soon. So that's a good win. Yeah. That's awesome. That's a good kick in the pants, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. That's awesome. So proud of you. Um, so my win, aside from um, surviving, like, I don't know. It's probably only been three days since Cameron went to Europe. Um, so, you know, the kids are all alive. That's always a plus. Um, but outside of that is um, I've had a lot of really good conversations around uh, or just and people joining, joining the team, right? Interested in the business. And I'm, I am doing something that makes me very, very uncomfortable and doing them from cold, like setting up calls from cold messages. And that is so hard for me, guys. So hard. Tristan hears my panic messages like all day long, but I just wanted to show up because I am so uncomfortable outside of my comfort zone, right? It's not just people that know Tristan like me already. They're people that don't know me. And, and so I'm having to build those relationships and that's really uncomfortable for me, but I have been consistent with it. And so that is a win for me <laughs> being scared crapless every day. That's a win. Huge. All right. Anybody else have any fun wins? Um, well, I wasn't on last week because I was coaching, but um, the week before that, I signed up my first rep in a really long time. And it was someone who I had a call with like a while ago and she kind of just fell out of the sky, like being ready for it. So that was really cool. Um, and then I'm also pretty deep in an interview process with another position to get out of studio managing so it's also really exciting because my goal was to get out of studio managing by may so it's probably gonna happen sooner than later which is awesome yes huge i love it all right if anybody else has anything amazing to share hop up speak up now otherwise we're gonna let get my new little intro and let aj do her magic <laughs> nobody yes. else do it. Do it. Work your magic. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, guys. Well, I am so excited. For those of you who don't know AJ Major, she is a national marketing director. How good does that feel to say now, right? She is a national marketing director with the Juice Plus company. Um, for those of you who are in Phoenix, she uh, had an amazing, amazing speech there. That's where she um, was like, you know, titled crowned, crowned Miss NMD. <laughs> Um, but she is just absolutely fantastic. You guys, she is kind of like my spirit animal. Um, her husband is a coach at KU women's basketball along with, her, um, Ali Schneider's husband. And she has been a huge support role for him for a long time. But now she is stepping into kind of the, the lead of the house now a little bit, right? <laughs> Calling the shots. I like to call the shots a little call bit. Call the shots. Yeah. <laughs> She's amazing. She's got a little boy named Mason who is he just turned eight um, and she is just an all around powerhouse, you guys, and her leadership style just totally vibes with what Kelsey and I do and we love her. And so I'm so excited to present you to Miss AJ Majors. 
Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to be on. First of all, I love how you guys like share your highs. That's so cool. And I might be borrowing that for our own team calls. See, this is why you love coming on things like this. For one thing, coming on team calls is I don't have to put makeup on. I'm just coming on <laughs> real and vulnerable. Um, that's kind of how I do life. And yeah, so my journey, guys, I'm just going to kind of walk through a little bit and what I like to kind of call my timeline of no excuses, because uh, it's been a long timeline uh, for me. I actually signed my application with Choose Plus October of 2009. Yeah, <laughs> 10, 10, 2010. So it's been nine years almost that I have joined this mission. And guys, I just hit NNV last spring. Okay. And I don't say that to like, Ah, you know, like, oh, it's going to take me nine years. No, some people do it in 15 months. Some people do it in 15 years. And that's what I love about this company is they reward you if you do a little or a lot. And if it takes you a long time, that's great. You're just going to have that much more of a stable business that I can tell you. So um, that is when it all began in 10. But a year later, actually, um, that is when Allie and Joy Kelly <laughs> got me on a three-way phone call because I had fast-tracked to VF. Back then it was called a 10-1-10. Y'all don't even know what that is. Kelsey and Kristen. <laughs> uh, and I earned a free conference ticket and they got me on the phone and they said, you know what? You got to get to conference. Guys, I had just had a baby. I had just had a baby. He was three weeks old and I was not comfortable bringing him. I wasn't comfortable leaving him either. Um, but you know what? It was March Madness. My husband was home and it was going to be three days. And I filled up the fridge full of breast milk and I said, you know what? You guys are going to be just fine. And I said, peace. <laughs> and I went to And fun fact, that was the first time I met you. It was at my first conference and your first conference. And we had babies every I know, Kelsey, I love that. I would, yes, we, first conference for she and I, and I mean, I know she would say this too. Guys, it's life-changing to get to conference. I've never, first of all, felt like I was ever in the right place than when I walked into that conference center. I was like, why are all these people so happy? And this is amazing. Like, I can't even put it in perspective. So if you haven't been to a conference yet, I might just say, <laughs> you gotta get there, right? Okay, so I, I really saw people at the front of the room on stage sharing their stories, and I was like, their stories are amazing, but you know what? It's no different than kind of my story, so if they can do it, I can do it, and it really kind of spurred some hope in me that I could eventually, you know, stay home with Mason, because at that time, I was on unpaid maternity leave, and I got zero dollars for that zero dollars oh my gosh like I look back now and my only regret in this whole business and I see so many young faces on here is that I just didn't make it happen sooner it's my only regret in nine years is that I just didn't like get my head out of my ass you know and do it sooner so that was in 2011 and I was just you know kind of comfortable where I was a couple hundred bucks a month that was great and then in 2014 when Allie needed a sales coordinator leg to hit NMD I was like, yes, I come from an athletic background. I want to always help the team. It's always about somebody else. And I have to say, we're all women on here right now. We will always root for the rise of our sisters before we root for ourselves. Why do we do that? Why do we do that? I don't know, because we need to take care of ourselves before we can fill up the cups of others. But we do that. So I said, absolutely. And we went balls to the wall and Allie legitimately hit Q and MD one month, NMD the next, like it was unbelievable, right? And that was awesome. And I kind of just hung out there for a little bit for about a year. And then Allie's head, husband became the head coach at University of Kansas. So we are going to be moving. And you know what? At 32 years old, I got to retire into my Juice Plus business. Now, this was scary. We took a $20,000 pay cut for me to stay home. But I was so certain about my position within this company and this company in, in retrospect, like if you, I have such belief in this company and this product and network marketing, like once you decide to become a professional and own it and really understand that we are compensated for what we do, you know, women are still paid what 73 cents on the dollar per, per a man. And if you're educated, that gap is even bigger. That's not okay. So within network marketing, you're actually paid 
you know, what you're worth. And that is, that's liberating. I'll tell you what, I, I love that my paycheck is a direct reflection of the people we are helping get healthy. That is amazing. So in that 2015 year, this was also a year that, um, you know, you get the call that nobody wants, that your older sister is losing her 20 year battle with cancer and that um, it's days and that you need to get there because she's just gone into hospice. So we dropped everything because of this business, I could. And I got to be with her in her final hours and I will never get that time back. So because I said years before, I said yes, years before, I got to drop everything when my family needed me. You know, I didn't have to ask for time off. I didn't have a loss of pay. You know, I got to grieve as long as I needed to. And you know what? I needed that time. I was not ready to go back to a job when we got home after my sister passed away. You know, that was the hardest time of my life. But you know what I did? I turned that pain into purpose. And she became, oh, I'm going to get emotional. I try not to cry. You never know when it's going to come. I say my story all the time. But she became my sole reason for doing this business because I am so sick and tired of people dying before they need to. It is just not okay. And to have her two little girls not have a mom, I am just, uh, I'm not okay with it. So she became our sole purpose and my reason for doing this business unapologetically. So instead of using that as an excuse, she became our power. And then, oh, I got my little notes here. Thank goodness I have notes because you never know what's going to happen. Oh, so we skip ahead to 2016, you guys. And you just when you think, like, what else could this family go through? Just, you know, lost a family member. And, you know, stuff is rough as a coach's wife. I'll be honest, it's like military. You just never know when you're going to have a job or where you're going to be. We wanted to extend our family, and that was something we've always wanted. I've always wanted a really big family, to be honest. And um, it was about four years, and we still were not with a second child. And um, found out it was something out of my control that I, I just couldn't have another child. Um, that was devastating. So we decided to go IVF. <laughs> this was all in the midst of trying to build a business, you guys. Having a coaching husband, having a seven-year-old son. Uh, six at the time. And uh, we tried IVF three times. And the third time we got pregnant and we were very excited. And uh, because of this business, again, you guys, we could afford this. I got to go to doctor's appointments. You guys have no idea how many doctor's appointments a day you have to go to when you're doing this stuff. Medications, $8,000 for medications. Like it's ridiculous. But we wanted to, we wanted to try. I did not want to look back with regret. So we got pregnant on February 5th and we went in for our ultrasound and there was no baby. We were unbelievably devastated. And um, you know what? Most people would um, recoil and go back into you know, the dark. <laughs> but you know what? I knew that my team had been working so hard for us to hit an MP. A month later, we hit it. And that was like, oh my gosh. It was amazing. I was so proud of my team. And I like to say like, kind of in a way we did have a baby because our NMD baby was born on April 5th. And we got to um, celebrate in Arizona with my family, Andy's family. It was an amazing experience. And I only tell you this, <laughs> Veronica, um, is that everybody's journey, no matter how hard or how easy perception might be from the outside. It is your journey. There are people out there who've had it way worse than me. And there are people out there who might think that their journey is as bad as it can get. And the only reason why I tell you like these very vulnerable parts of my life is that no matter what, I knew I could still build this business. And my team deserved that. And Tammy, I deserved that. I worked really hard to get to where we were. And I turned all of this pain into purpose. And I think that's my message for you guys today is like, these could have been such excuses for my life, but I knew, and I dove deep into personal development and I don't know how that sits with all of you guys, but I do affirmations every morning and I fill my head up with positivity because if I did not have a strong thought process, there's no way I would have made it through any of these hard things. 
I, I just totally believe in that, you know, and it's still hard to talk about, but my whole purpose was to help others help themselves. It really is that simple. That's our whole business. If you go ahead and, and, and put it down onto like a whole sentence is we are here to help you become the best version of yourself. You realize the dreams that you want for yourself and maybe a family that you don't even have already. You know, at 24 years old, if I would have known about this, who knows where I would be? I'd definitely be a Hunter Club NMD. That I know. And I'd be thanking myself every day that I said yes to this and went full out instead of giving up. Because the only difference between me and a brand new representative is that I've heard no, probably more than you have, and I have not given up. I have not given up. In nine years, I have shown up to my business in some capacity, even when I didn't want to, even when it was hard, even when all I wanted to do was cry. I still showed up every day for my business because I knew it would pay off. And today I'm a national marketing director. That's it. I just didn't give up. So if I can give you that advice is just show up every day and keep plugging away, keep plugging away because consistency creates miracles. You guys, that is a hundred percent how I got to NMD. So that's really our story. <laughs> you know, we're working towards 24 club and, and 2018 was a weird year. And thank God we hit NMD in 2018 because I would have said that was the worst year ever, <laughs> but it wasn't, it was an okay year, you know, as far as that goes. Um, but I always like to just let people understand that your journey is your journey and that is for nobody to take away from you. Um, and really I love at the end of any time I've done this, I've always had people who have questions like what sort of events do you do? You know, um, I think that it's important to have a buddy in this business. Obviously, Kristen and Kelsey are, are buddies in this business. I had a buddy and it was the only reason on top of, you know, straight drive that I got to where, you know, we wanted to go. Having a buddy to root for you and competitively like help you along the way. Guys, that's huge. And maybe you don't know who your buddy is yet. I didn't know who my buddy was going to be until I was going for Q until I went for NMD and. That was Kristen Hilmer. I'll just be honest. Like we just went competitively in a really positive way. I was like, I hit Q. She's like, oh no, hell no. She's not doing that first. And then I hit, or she hit NMD and I was like, oh no, hell no. She's not walking stage without me. And you just make it happen. It's just, it's such a beautiful thing that we have within the Juice Plus company. And I'm so incredibly grateful uh, to be a part of it. So do y'all have any questions for me? Um, even, even Kristen or Kelsey, you guys can ask too, because it might prompt other questions. <laughs> and I'll try not to do that. <laughs> but if nobody has questions, I would like to talk about events because that's something I really love to talk about. Yeah, I was actually going to say, I know that you've done trainings. Uh, you and Allie have both done trainings at Shining Star and on stage and stuff for um, events and community. So I wanted to have you talk about that a little bit because you guys have just like the most amazing community and chemistry there in the north. It is. And Allie's definitely my buddy in the business, but you know, she's my upline. I need a little competition. She was already in NMD. That's not fun. You got to go for somebody who's your position so you can like go to the next together. It's really fun. I promise. Okay. So events. Guys, we've been doing events consistently since we started this whole thing. Whether it's a Power Bowl event, salad in a jar, kids in the bed, you know, like a healthy bugs in the belly. Um, we do a lot of healthy living revolution events. You know, we're part of a community that's really trying to help people take their health back. You know, local grocery store, will you donate some food for our kids event? You know, people want to do those sorts of things. Um, it's not easy to put on bigger events, but I'm telling you the doors that it has opened by being a non-Juice Plus event has been incredible. We are taking over our entire town just as be the girls who are fruit and vegetable pushers. <laughs> I mean, seriously, who doesn't want those people to be around their kids? Everybody does. Everybody's like, hey, look what Mason eats. Look what we're doing here, you know? It's been so fun. We've gotten to know um, different uh, health professionals in the community, um, different fitness professionals, people who normally would be like, not being educated about juice plus, right? Just assume it's just another supplement and not wanting to take a look, but instead we're healthy living revolution. We are empower KC. We're doing really, really amazing events around women empowerment. You guys, I cannot stress this enough. 
it is so powerful when you can get a group of women together who are not financially tied to each other and share some stories of hope and, and being vulnerable. And guys, I'm telling you, we just did an event in Kansas city. It was some work. It was, you know, it was a paid event. They had to pay to be there. We had yoga, we had guest speakers, we had food, we had drinks. It was a lot to put on, but the doors that it is open in the Kansas city area for my team, I can't even, it was worth every time we had to get on a zoom every single penny, you know, all of that. Actually, we broke even, which is like, yay for any event that you do. <laughs> but guys, I'm just telling you, you can invite people over to your house and maybe you have one other person who's juice plus. Allie and I used to do this all the time. We'd juice them, right? We would say, you know, oh my gosh, I need to go shopping for conference. I like don't have any clothes. I never do. I know we have to get dressed up for that that, um, you know, shining star event and this, that, or we can talk about those things. And I guarantee the moms who's sitting across the table, who's like, well, I don't have anything to get dressed up for. Why don't you come to conference with us? Right? So it's just in the conversations that you have being real and authentic and inviting people in. I will tell you though, those consistent events are huge because if I'm talking to somebody like Kelsey or Kristen and, and they're like, you know, I'm vibing with them. They've got good energy. I'm like, Hey, what are you doing Sunday afternoon? Some girls and I get together. We put some ingredients in some Mason jars and we've got salads for the week. You want to come over? And they're like, yeah, that builds that relationship because then they're going to know, like, and trust you. Like Kelsey said, you're building that relationship. Now you can let them in and talk about coming to this event or online event. They're going to be more receptive than it as a cold call, if you will. So I really encourage you guys just be as consistent as possible and really live through your social media as well. But you can't rely on social media. It has to be a good balance of social media and in-person events and real conversations. I think it's a third sort of thing. Real conversations, in-person events, and then social media. It's a third of each. I really believe that's the recipe for success. You can't just do a post for the day and say, check, <laughs> I did my Juice Plus business because it's definitely not how this works. And I love Teamsy. I don't know if you guys are using it, but our awesome company gives us a discount, uh, which is amazing. It's $20. It's basically 50 cents a day to have a paid personal assistant. And yes, I would have loved to have had this at the beginning when Kelsey and I very first started our businesses. If I would have had me some Teamsy, Oh my goodness, it wouldn't have taken me nine years to get to NMD, that's for sure, because I'm not organized, guys. If I could show you my office right now, I'll be real. It is a disaster. Oh my gosh, I have stuff everywhere. That's not even a bit of it. But like, it is not polished, guys. And that's not what I want to show either. I show the real, I show the ugly. I cry on Facebook Lives all the time. Be your true, authentic self. Because I guarantee people are going to watch that. They're not going to want to see the movie reel because that's not, that's not true. And they're never going to want to talk to you because they think you're perfect and they are not. And it shows their inadequacies. Nobody wants to be around that. They want to see that, you know, you pulled out your husband's underwear and they got holes in it. And that's what I wear to bed. Cause I did a video about that. And about 700 people thought that was funny. Come on guys. Don't take yourself so seriously. So if you're a funny person, Highlight that. If you're organized, show them how you're organized. Whatever your sort of niche is, and it doesn't have to be deep, just plug into that more because those are the people you want to attract and that you're going to attract. So uh, I would have saved myself a whole lot of time if I just would have known about this stuff sooner. And guys, you learn as you earn. You're never going to know everything about this business. And the more that you think that you need to know, the slower you're going to go. You just need to be having conversations, you need to be doing events, and you authentically need to share your heart. That's it. That's the recipe for success. Everything else is just stuff that you'll be filled in with Kristen and Kelsey. They're going to fill in the gaps. That's it. Yes. <laughs> Anything else? They're so quiet tonight. I know. I'm like, man, like really? really bizarre. <laughs> really bizarre. <laughs> I just think you hit the hit. The, yeah, you like hit the note. I like have all my notes over here that I'm like scribbling on. Um, um, so the only other thing I was going to ask, just because it's one of my favorite things to do too, is what's your favorite? What's your favorite affirmation that you do every day? 
Oh, girl. well, I got them right here. I got them right here. Just, just one. Give me a top, your top favorite one that always pops in your mind, like right when it needs to. You know what? The top one that I really love, you know, I know everything is going to work out exquisitely better than planned, but I love, because this is something that I had to get over. You guys, I look comfortable right now sitting and talking on Zoom, right? And I cried and I'm laughing, ha, ha, ha. I used to be petrified of public speaking, like shaking, sweating. Please don't talk to me. I might throw up. And Zoom, talking on Zoom has helped me a lot. So I am magnificent at the front of the room. People love my energy and message. I have what it takes to change lives. I tell myself that every time I have to speak. I did it before we jumped on here because it is true. And, and whatever sort of thing that you feel like you're um, maybe needing to own, because that's exactly what affirmations are, just to build more confidence, go for it. But yes, I, I'm a huge proponent of affirmations. And, you know, of course, then the one that Mitra did, I am loved, I'm adored, I'm enough. So I love that one too. Um, but yes. Awesome. Thanks. Of course. All right, you guys. Well, if you have any questions, you can totally message them to me and I'll happily get them to AJ. If you, if you don't want to share them now, that's totally fine. Or if anybody's listening to the recording and you have a burning question, just let us know and we'll get it over to her. Um, but AJ, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I know you're super busy and you've got your team, own team to run, but um, taking time out to kind of share your heart with us is awesome. We love you. And I tried not to cry as well. <laughs> <laughs> Never know what's happening. Never know. <laughs> I know. I know. But I lost it. I was bawling. It was fine. Don't I worry. Know. I was like choking it down. Choke it down. <laughs> <laughs> so we love you. Thank you so, so much. You guys have an amazing rest of your week and hopefully this inspired you. And like Rachel said, little, little fire under you to push through, push through those things that are happening in life and, and get where you need to go. Absolutely. All awesome. Right. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you, love. You. Bye.